Hi everybody and welcome back to some more racing here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at a new update that's just been released on a set of calls on the PS4. Update 1.15. Now this update comes with an incredible DLC pack, the Ready to Race pack. And I've been looking forward to, to this one for a long time. Some amazing cars and you do not want to miss these ones. Now only Kunos would release a DLC pack and an update just before Project Cars 2 and GT Sport come out. That's very clever and it's going to keep you very interested in this game. Now um, we're going to be racing all these cars on this channel, probably on the sim racing events with James Creek Gaming. Now at this current moment I can't test out any of the cars as uh, the PlayStation Store hasn't updated itself yet. So we can't actually download it but hopefully they will sort that out later and we can race them in a live stream later on today and probably for the rest of the week. Uh, we're going to probably test out every single one of these vehicles with James Creek Gaming so check that out guys because it's going to be fun now this update comes with a lot of fixes a lot of these uh, fixes I've heard a lot of people moaning about so well done Kunos you really got on it now I'm going to try and put all this info in the description there's a lot to go through and I might do a couple of videos going through some of the main fixes but I will check out the main fix that's really put a smile on my face in this video but uh, one of the things I wanted to do is just quickly have a look at the cars that they've added. Like I said, I can't uh, select them just yet to look at the info and the specs, but I will definitely do that. Now, these are the cars they've added. So they've added uh, four Audis, a Lotus, a Maserati, two McLarens and two Toyotas. Fantastic. And some of these cars are going to be awesome to race. And we're going to be doing it live here on this channel, guys. And uh, the, the fix that came with this update is going to absolutely make a hell of a difference to me on the circuit and you're going to find out why in a second but let me know in the comments below if you're happy with this dlc and all these fixes because everyone had different gripes about different fixes uh but like i said i'm going to try my best to go through the main ones uh that have, that make a difference to me but if there's anything that i've uh missed on my my opinions let me know in the comments below and we will have a look at them as well but first up I just want to flick through the cars and hopefully they sort it out so we can select them very soon right we're just going to quickly flick through the cars that they've added on the ready to race DLC like I said the PlayStation Store hasn't updated itself yet so we can't actually look at the info and the specs but I will definitely do that guys once it's downloaded now these are the cars so there's four awesome Audis and I'll tell you what they're all going to be good to test out there's one uh, Lotus uh, the Lotus 311 fantastic I actually enjoy racing some of these cars uh, the Lotus cars on this game are good there's a Maserati oh, wh whoops just press one button uh, oh look at that guys oh that does look good I wonder if that is a good car to race uh, definitely going to be testing that one out uh, I do like Maseratis two McLarens oh my god guys a McLaren P1 get in there that is going to be extremely powerful uh, and very very good to race and last up was two Toyotas I think there was a Toyota Celica, yes, uh, that looks awesome, that's uh, so like a rally car, and a Toyota TS04, now I love this car on Project Cars, I'm hoping this one to be good, uh, but there you go guys, those are the cars, now I just want to quickly have a look at this option that they've added, which has really put a smile on my face, so here we go. Right guys, I'm just going to show you this option they've added and this really, really has put a smile on my face. Now you can create your own preset for your steering wheel. Now I race on a Frostmaster T300 RS and since I've played this game, I've been using a G29 preset and all my buttons have been all over the place, but no more thanks to this update and I am so happy about this. Now I'm just about to show you a race I had for the sim racing events, guys. This was the other night, just an open lobby. Um... This was before the update, please enjoy it, but I will be doing some more uh, videos on this update, looking at the new cars, plus some of the racing in the live stream. Please give this a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye, guys. Yeah, we're live on the switch at the moment. Good luck, everybody. Oh, we're spinning two gears there. What the hell was that?
grid, by the way, James. James. Sure is. We've got a chance of winning this because I'm still matching on to these. We're having a right old battle. Looks like there's some good races in this one.
spoil the fuel. Take that. That was a nice run, that was. First race of the night. 